Hi guys, what's up? Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Mikey. Hi, hello, welcome. In this video, we're actually just gonna wing it. My husband is actually off this weekend. So we are gonna just kind of just spend the weekend together, do errands. We don't have any solid plans and take you guys along with us. We are we actually do have reservations though at 10 for Den Tai Fung. We've been wanting to eat there for a while now and I just checked this morning to see if they had anything available and the only thing they had was 10 o'clock. Kind of early but we're going to see if we can make it work. Right now I'm probably just going to get up and then we'll get ready and start our day. Quick outfit check. Brown and brown on denim. Okay, so now we're just walking to Den Tai Fung and I'm gonna do some voiceovers because it, the music was pretty loud in the restaurant. I love that you just mark your menu. The restaurant is really beautiful. Okay, so this is the cucumber salad. It's so freaking light, refreshing, and it's packed with flavor and it doesn't feel heavy. It's literally the perfect appetizer, and I highly recommend you guys start with this. The next thing we ordered was the string beans with garlic, and this is literally a restaurant favorite, and I don't think there's another restaurant in the world that can say their green beans are a favorite. <laughs> but when I tell you, it's so delicious and flavorful, and literally tastes like a french fry, you guys have to try this. It's my favorite okay. on the menu. And this is another one of my favorites. It's a shrimp and pork spicy wonton and it's served with their house spicy sauce topped with garlic and green onions. It's so flavorful and just melts in your mouth. Highly recommend getting this as well. This is my pointing at the food dance because it's so damn good. And if you've ever heard of Den Tai Fung, it's usually associated with their Xiaolong Baos, which is basically a soup dumpling. This one is stuffed with pork and crab. I have to say, I didn't really like the crab in this, which is strange because I love crab. So for next time, I'm just gonna stick with the pork Xiaolong Baos. And the last dish for today was the noodles with diced beef and Szechuan peppers. While the noodles were super fresh and good, the flavor overall for this wasn't something I would probably order again. But keep in mind this is also our last dish so we're super full and when you're super full sometimes things don't taste as good. I'm also making sure to slurp up all of the noodles because last time I bit my noodles someone came for me in the comments. They have a lila bow here, oh my god. Hello. Hello. Which one is it? Our first time here. 22 butter.
so I'm going with the Noir 29. I actually really like this as well. This one smells good too. Room and board? Mm hmm. Okay, so we're back home from our little shopping excursion. Then Taifung was so good. After that, we kind of just walked around the mall. So when I saw this at UTC, I was like, oh my God, this is like my dream cologne. Let's go and let's just smell some stuff and let's see if we're drawn to any of the scents. We did get this one though. And this is the Noir, Noir 29. It's 100 ml slash 3.4 fluid ounces. It is compounded in San Diego by Didi on 10 22 and it says for happy over sad which is super cute you get to customize it on both the box and also the bottle hey guys so this is editing mikey over here i'm actually editing this video and i just realized that i never really explained the whole happy over sad outro that i do or that i say at the end of my videos it was kind of something i just said and it stuck and the reason why i'm saying choose happy over sad is because when my dad passed you know, it kind of changes you and you look at the world a different way. And so I just started to look at the little things that bothered me and just started to ignore them. It didn't matter anymore. You know, it's one of those things where when you really think about it, life is so short. And so if you have the option to choose to be happy over sad, over something as small as like, let's just say road rage, right? Someone cuts you off. You have a choice there to be angry and annoyed and sad or you have a choice to just ignore it and go along your way and just be happy. I found myself doing that one time when I was driving and I got cut off and I was like, it didn't bother me at all. You might be having a bad day. I don't know why you're cutting me off. I don't know why you're rushing, but in the grand scheme of life, those decisions that person is making has no effect on me. It has no bearing on my day. It just really is not gonna affect me in any way. So why am I letting it get me angry or feel a certain way? And so kind of, that's kind of just like where it stems from. And it's in a more lighthearted way because I understand that not everyone can just be like, oh, I'm gonna choose to be happy today. I understand that. I understand mental illness. I understand depression. And so I don't want you to think that I think it's easy enough to just say, oh, I'm gonna be happy today. That's not really what I mean. I just mean when it comes to the small things in life that might bug you, I think you have an opportunity to turn it around, switch it 180 and just not let it affect you and instead be happy. And so yeah, that's kind of why I wrote it in my uh, Lee Lebeau cologne bottle. And that's also why I say it at the end of my videos. And then the last thing I wanna say about this as well is that I'm not original. Creators do this all the time and they make a brand out of it. One of my favorite creators, Joe Lee, he actually came up with something much more creative and much more cooler. And he says at the end of his videos to be less shitty and he spells it S-H-I-D-D-Y. And it's going along the same lines in terms of like, try to be less shitty, try to be a positive person in the world today, or basically just to try to be a better person today. So yeah, that's why I say try to choose happy over sad. Okay, just wanted to point that out there and I don't think I've ever really talked about it. So yeah, all right, back to the video. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Also, I haven't bought cologne for like two years, so this is kind of a splurge for me. Hmm? Oh my god. Look how cute she is. So what's cool about this company is they actually uh, make the fragrance in store for you. So this was made actually today. And then it says, for happy over sad, my little tagline. Mmm, smells so good. And the thing about this is they use oils for the fragrance, so it lasts long, so like one or two squirts. Is that what it's called, squirt? Spray. <laughs> so like one or two sprays will pretty much last you all day. And so I feel like this bottle will last a really long time. So even though it's expensive, it's an investment. And I feel like she will be with us for a while. Isn't she cute? Let me turn this down, hold on. All right, there we go. Yeah, it smells so good. I wonder if the notes are on here about the scent. It doesn't say, I'll, I'll put 
in text kind of the the notes for this scent but it is very like hmm it's definitely masculine i am more into the masculine scents all right well i just wanted to unbox that and show you guys for the rest of the day we're probably just gonna make some old fashions and then hang out probably do postmates maybe watch a movie later um so yeah the rest of the day is gonna be chill all right we're gonna make a couple old fashions and all you need really is some bourbon some sugar we have the cube sugar right here some bitters ice and also orange peel all you do is pretty much put a cube of sugar in your cup and then you're gonna put like three to four splashes of bitters in there i put like six and you're gonna crush this and muddle it Put a tiny bit of water here to help the muddling. That. And then two ounces of bourbon. Go, 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 go. Throw that right in. And then you get some ice cubes. You're gonna wanna mix this up. And then you wanna get a big block of ice. This is so big. And then you should have like one of those strainer things, but we don't have one, so we're just gonna try and pour carefully. That's pretty much it. Oh no, sorry. Orange, this is why I'm not a bartender. Orange peel. And then all the oils are on the outside, so you just do a squeeze around the edges and then a little twist and throw it in there there you go it's cute and then we also have some cherries that don't typically go into uh your old-fashioned this is more for like a manhattan but they're so good so we add it in our old fashions so i'm just gonna grab a cherry throw it in there Here you go, cheers. Bam, let's try it. Oh wow, that block of ice makes a difference. Here babe. Cheers babe. Cheers. Good morning guys. It is now the next day and we are continuing our little weekend with a hike. I'm gonna take Don to a hike. It's called Koi Pei Peak Trail. It's about a two mile hike up and back. The first mile goes straight up, so it's kind of like a, a natural stair climber. And what I like about this hike is it's a pretty quick hike, but you get a good workout from it. And so, yeah, last night we ended up just having a couple old fashions and then ordered some Mexican food. We had carne asada fries again. And then after that, we kind of just like built a fort on our couch, <laughs> cuddled with our girls and just watched some TV. We actually watched a movie called, I think it's called The Barbarian on Netflix. And I don't know, it was, it was okay, but it was bad too. It was good, but it was bad. And when I say that, I guess I'm saying like halfway through, I was invested. So I was like, let's just keep watching so I could figure out how it ends. But I don't know, I guess out of five stars, I would give it two and a half, but it's basically like a horror film, somewhat scary. And we wanted to watch something in light of Halloween. So we tried that. I don't know if I would recommend it, <laughs> to be honest, but yeah. Okay, we'll check in with you guys when we get to the hike. <laughs> 